celebrations on the streets of Khan Sheikhoun. These residents are cheering Friday's strike on a Syrian airbase by the U.S. military. The offensive, ordered by President Donald Trump, was in retaliation for the Syrian regime's apparent use of chemical weapons here earlier this week, an attack that killed dozens of people, including women and children. The Sheirat airbase is in Syria's Homs province. All that's left are scorched bunkers after 59 cruise missiles pounded the site. The Syrian government described the assault as foolish and short-sighted. The United States of America at 342 hours this dawn carried out an act of aggression, targeting one of our bases in the Central Command with a number of missiles. As a result, six of our personnel were killed, others wounded, gross damages suffered. But anti-regime activists and rebel groups welcomed the move by President Trump. So too did Syrian refugees sheltering in Jordan. To be honest, like everybody else, I was surprised by this fast response to the attack. I'm happy because the strikes targeted this criminal regime's military positions from where they've been targeting us. But what are the political ramifications of this airstrike? We Syrian civilians are not politicians or military people, so we don't understand the ramifications of this. Others are also weighing what the U.S. intervention could mean for the Syrian war, now in its seventh year, including the United Nations. What we have seen uh, overnight appears to be a, a military decision, military strategy, strategic uh, decision, uh, which we cannot uh, comment on uh, as such uh, as uh, humanitarians. The Syrian government has used chemical weapons before. In 2013, an attack in Ghouta left nearly 300 dead. Former President Barack Obama didn't retaliate at the time because he didn't have support from Congress. But less than 72 hours after the Khan Sheikhoun attack, Donald Trump ordered a swift and decisive response. This military strike is a major shift in the U.S.'s Syria policy. But one of the key questions that remains to be answered is whether this is a one-off or the start of a new chapter in this increasingly complicated war. In Piyaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Beirut.